Okay, so now what I want to focus on is getting this uh, PSD layer to actually shatter into a million bits and pieces to make it look like your man has actually shattered. So let's take a look at how we're going to do that. Okay, but before we do that, let's go up to the top and make a new camera. So make new camera. 50 millimeter is fine. And I also want to come down here to this PSD layer and make it 3D and also make that floor layer a 3D layer. So come up to your particles layer and uh, let's just put trap code particle particular on it effects trap code particular so you should see right there you get these spheres and they actually in the scene they just take a few minutes to come on so let's let's kind of change that so let's go up into the options for particular right here you see the options you see pre-run let's set that percentage to 100 okay so now we don't have to wait for the particles to come on they they already on. So in the emitters tab, let's change that type, emitter type from point to layer. Uh, let's go down one to the layers tab and select the PSD file. Okay. So now particular will generate those PSD files. But the reason you don't see them on the stage right now is because the PSD files don't actually come on right away two seconds you'll see them pop in the screen and what we want these particles to do is actually take on the shape of this guy and we want this guy to go off when the particles come on so I'm just gonna go down to this uh, file here and I'm just gonna set that to go off when the particular particles come on so particular comes on at two seconds so we'll leave it on one second longer now let's go back up to this particles layer and uh, make some changes there. okay so now got that particles pop on at two so what I want to do now is just go back up to this particle layer and uh, just kind of make some changes so let's go into the velocity and take that velocity way down something like for now let's set it to 15 so set the velocity to 15 and uh, velocity random we'll get back to that particles let's go to the particles layer so let's look at the particles life they set for three let's set that something like uh, let's say 25 for now and we get a lot more particles because they live a little longer now also let's go down to the physics let's go into the physics and change that physics model from air to bounce and let's just give it a little bitty gravity something like three for now so let's go down to our actual floor plane and let's just kind of turn that floor. I'm going to turn my uh, video back on real quick. I'm going to take my fo floor plane there. And uh, what I want to do is just rotate it to where the z-axis is pointing up. So I'm going to just grab the rotation tool and rotate it to the Z axis is pointed up you can hold down shift if you want <clears throat> and then just grab it I'm just gonna take that and put it to where it lines up with his feet just just so we can get the floor plane where his feet are so we're gonna line that up with his feet just sort of move it back and now I want to just scale it up and we might have to do a little rotating, you know, once those particles get into the play, we might have to rotate it a little to uh, actually get it to look like they're bouncing on this plane. But we'll deal with that. So now let's go back up to the particle layer and set all the way down into the physics. You see the bounce system in the physics. Let's set that floor layer from none 
let's set it to floor. So now I'm going to go ahead and see where my particles are actually, see if they're hitting the floor. It looked like they're hitting the floor pretty decent. Can't really tell because they just, it's just not enough particles right now to see. So let's set some keyframes now. We'll go one frame before our particles kick in. No, two frames before the particles kick in. I'm going to shut the uh, stopwatch on and I'm going to set the particle count to zero. Now one frame after that, I'm going to set it to something high like 5,000. Then I'm just going to go out maybe four frames and I'm just going to shut it off. Set it back to zero. Okay. So I got a couple of particles on the stage at this point. So what I want to do is just go into the particles and change the physics time factor just so I'll get a lot more particles and they'll take the shape a little better when we push the page down we see a little action happening from those particles and they are interacting with the floor plane okay. uh, I'm gonna shut this layer back on now so I can actually see if they look like they're gripping from him Here we are, you know, the uh, shattered power blast effect. When we come back, what we're going to do is exactly that. We're going to do the power blast effect with the other character, and uh, we're going to bring those two pieces together to make one believable scene. So let's get into the next part of this tutorial where we're going to bring in the power blast and, you know, make the power blast shatter him to pieces. Lens flares, camera shakes, all of the good stuff to make our scene a little more believable.